JCID Face ID Tag on Repair at PC. No need to solder and align. Use the actually after activating, burning and installing. Even beginners can fix Face ID easily. The Face ID of this Sharp Pro Max is unavailable. Let's exclude infrared and floodlight problems first. Connect mobile phone to computer. Click Trust. Open JCID Repair. Software and enter into read phone interface. Infrared and floodlight codes are normal. It means that the face ID problem is mostly caused by dot matrix. Now let us repair the dot matrix. Remove the face ID FPC. Step 1. Activate the original Face ID FPC. Boco X14PM Integrated Face ID Activation Read and Write Adapter on V1SP Row. Connect mobile phone to V1's Pro with an Apple USB cable. Note that the external power-free Face ID Activation Adapter does not need to connect to the power supply additionally. V1's Pro remains to click Trust on the phone. Open your phone and click Trust. Then connect the original dot matrix to the corresponding port of V1's Pro. The test results show that the chip is fusing. Notes. Abnormal communication and face ID. Repair for the second time cannot be fixed by tag on face ID FPC. Other problems can be fixed by tag on face ID FPC. Click more. Click activate. Let us take a look at the activation conditions. The phone is connected and trusted. Original Face ID connected. Voltage is activated. Good Wi-Fi network. Click Face ID activate. The system starts activating Face ID FPC and backing up cloud data. After the screen showing that the activation is successful, remove the Face ID FPC. Step 1. Write the original data. Buckle the corresponding JCID tag on Face ID repair FPC. On the right port of V1SP row, click Open File. Click Cloud File. The cloud file is named after the Face ID FPC activation time, based on which users can judge and select the files to be burned. After confirming that the file is correct, click Select, click OK. When the screen shows that the data is written successfully, remove the repair FPC. Step 3 is Die the FPC. Now we buckle the tag on Face ID. Repair FPC with burned dot matrix data on the original Face ID FPC. Flatten the Face ID FPC. Put up the upper front camera FPC. Infold the Face ID FPC by 180 degrees. Lock down the front camera FPC. Buckle with the JCID tag on Face ID FPC. Fasten with tape. Fold upper by 180 degrees. Fold the FPC upper by 90 degrees. And then fold down by 90 degrees. 12 Pro Max JCID Face ID Tag on FPC installation done. Additional notes. If you need instructions of JCID Face ID Tag on FPC of all models, please visit JCID official. Check. Step 4. Install and test. Buckle the Face ID FPC with the JCID Face ID tag on FPC. On the corresponding port of V1S Pro, click Detect. When it shows FPC function normal, take off the FPC and install it in mobile phone. Here is a Matac shite covered on the 12 Pro Max Face ID FPC. Please cut off the positioning metal plate inside the shield before installation.
Note, LTS also necessary for 12 and 12 Pro to cut off the positioning plate inside the shield before installation. Don't you need to do that for other models? Boot up the phone. Face ID input normally. Unlock screen normally. 